Hello, my name is Tyler Gaines, and I'm here with WCTV, where we're in the middle of the Fairview High School parking lot. There is a crash between two vehicles, both male drivers and two female passengers. As you can see, there is a female passenger thrown through the windshield, and one is unconscious in the passenger seat. There are police officers, fire trucks, and ambulances all coming in, making sure, checking on the people, but we are also beginning to build up a crowd throughout the back part of the parking lot. Police are starting to trying to calm the passengers down. They seem to be talking to a blonde boy. He was a, one of the drivers. Another one is coming out. They're starting to attack each other. There, there seems to be a bit of a scuffle. Police are starting to push them back. We only have two confirmed identities. One, Tristan Mann as the driver of the silver car and Austin Davenport as the driver of the blue Kia. The accident had believed to happen at 10 a.m. The police arrived shortly after, but right now we have Life Light coming in. They are landing on the baseball field. They are they're making their landing right now. Austin Davenport has been placed in handcuffs and is being put in the back of a police car. We will have uh, further information and more word on what exactly is going on about this. All entrances to the Fairview High School parking lot have been blocked off, allowing no more civilians. All students and faculty have made their way outside of the building and are now at They're the scene. The They're pulling someone out of the car right now. We are not sure if they are alive or dead. I see no movement. Paramedics are looking and checking. Firefighters have pulled one of the bodies out. They previously had a white towel over her. Oh. A teacher has just sprinted through. She's going to the scene. Police is having to hold her back. It's a mom, I believe. Nope, no other parents have arrived on the scene. We've decided it's too graphic to show, but police and firefighters have pulled bodies out of the car. One seems to be covered up with a white sheet. Others have been taken by the ambulance and are being taken to the hospital. Life Flight is carrying one. Must be critical care. Police and rescue have gotten a grasp on the situation by consulting parents and by getting all the bodies out of the wreckage. But let's go get some interviews with some of the witnesses. Can you please tell me your name and what you know about this? Uh, my name is Jamie and I'm not really sure. It looked like the guy driving the car was distracted. Like he was on his phone or something and he just went over the line and ran into the other car head on. Can, can you please tell me anything that you know um, about the situation? I'm Maddie and I saw pretty much the same thing that happened. You know, I just saw them kind of cut, collide and it was just a disaster. Was there like was there any like texting, anything like that? Did you I see anyone I like swerve? Did, I did see the guy in the blue car looking down quite a bit. He was? But, yeah. Yeah. Can you please tell us what happened on this situation? Yes, I'm Sergeant Charlie Kaplinger with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. And uh, vehicle number one, which is a silver SUV, was driving along. And uh, it appears that uh, he was driving along in his lane and the car, the blue car, crossed over the center line and hit the silver car head on. And as we were interviewing the driver of the blue car, he admitted to texting and driving. And he said he just looked down for a quick second, and when he looked up, he was on the wrong side of the road. So uh, that's what we've been trying to beat into people's head is, you know, you can't text and drive. You have to concentrate on driving because it only takes one second, one second to look away, and it could change your life forever. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. All right, we're good.